type of person my dad was. You know, he was a, he was a hard working man. Um, you know, he supported his family. Uh, you know, he did everything he could to take care of his kids. He had a mentality where he, he wanted to work for everything he ever got. So, you know, he's he installed that into me. Um, you know, the relationship we had together, obviously, uh, was very special. He pushed me, you know, every step of the way. Um, you know, without him, uh, of course, my mother's well too, but you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So I was fortunate to have a dad, he was around, and uh, you know, he implemented some great intangibles on my life and, and my career. He had a uh, pancreatic cancer, and it was stage four. Um, you know, he was diagnosed, um, I want to say like towards the end of the year, so maybe like November, December. And uh, he battled it for like, you know, five to six months. They gave him like five months to live. and. Um, you know, it wasn't really nothing they could do because it spread it, you know, too too far through his body. So, uh, you know, he passed away in May. You know, one thing I can't say throughout that process, you know, he was very strong. You know, he, he never gave up, um, you know, and he understood what he was going through and what he was battling, but his mental, you know, was stronger than anything. Right now, it'd probably be about another two months. I can survive the chemo. So, you know, for me, to witness that, to see my, you know, my father go through that, it just kind of like, you know, created an armor still on me, and just, you know, just, just I didn't have no other choice but to be strong for my family, um, you know, going through that process. The research that's out there, I mean, it's, I'm sure it's a lot better now, but back then there wasn't really a lot out there. So uh, at the time I was playing for the Philadelphia Eagles, um, you know, my doctors kind of helped me through the process, uh, get them to the best cure. Um, to the best, uh, you know, nurses, doctors, and uh, you know, at that, like I said, at the time, the information just wasn't there wasn't a lot of information out there, so we really didn't know what to do. We was just trying a lot of different things. So I think now, you know, it's definitely, uh, you know, totally different from how it was back then. So uh, yeah, but you know, with pancreatic cancer, it's just you know, an internal disease in the stomach area that kind of just spreads and affects, you know, your eating habits and. You know, you're lazy, like you don't want to get up. So I think of signs like that, like if you're not eating or you're just sleeping all day, like them are signs where you can hopefully attack it before it's too late. So I have the ultimate privilege of sitting with patients and families, friends and caregivers in their most vulnerable moments. So we exist in Cedar sinai to give the patient and their families and friends the opportunity to really explore how they're feeling. We offer them individual therapy. We offer support any way it can be, whether it's just sitting with somebody during their first infusion or their last infusion. The biggest thing I can say is it, it bridged our family. You know, we, at, at times, you know, our family wasn't as tight as it, it should have been, but, uh, you know, I think losing, losing our father kind of um, you know, he always brought people together. He always brought people together to be happy, to smile, to come watch my game. So for him to, you know, pass away, it was like I almost had to bridge everybody's relationship back together. Like, you know, bringing people to see me play, you know, having people around me more, you know, my brothers, sisters, like you really just having that family orientated, um, drive and bond with, with the one another. And, uh, you know, but, you know, having that missing, it was, it was tough. Um, you know, the guidance, you know, his voice in my ear, just kind of always, you know, pointing me in the right direction. So I think for me, I kind of had to grow up faster. I had to like be a responsible young man early and, uh, you know, it just kind of made me grow up faster. That's the biggest thing I can say.